What's happening, KJ Mob? It's your girl, Kaylee J, back in the cuts once again with another video. Okay, guys, I am excited to be back with you guys. I know I take a lot of breaks. Um, it's just I ran out of content, y'all. Y'all have to let me get my thoughts and stuff together. Um, so before I get into everything, make sure you have like, comment, subscribe for more videos by me. I know I'm supposed to come with the vlogs and everything, but I don't really be doing nothing. Like when I tell y'all I'm a homebody, just mind my business, do what I gotta do and go <laughs> and just chill. As y'all may know, my birthday just passed. I was supposed to do a drink, you're ready with me, but I just didn't have the time. To be honest, I did not have the time. That won't happen, so I'm sorry, guys. Y'all yeah, enjoyed my first drunk get ready with me, and I'm so happy that y'all loved it because I was 21. Now I'm 24, y'all, so it's been some years. Um, I took my hair down. I had a quick weave. Um, this quick weave kind of, you know, took my edges out a little bit, so yeah we're we're done with the quick weaves um but i'm giving y'all natural all natural k you feel it you feel it and like every time i look at myself like before like when i take all my makeup and weave out it's really giving 90s babe it's giving 90s come on now okay you got the earrings got the little crop top shorts it's giving 90s babe so, um, just looking at myself, it's just, I see why people think I'm 19. I, I see it now. At first, I'm like, please, I'm, I'm 24. At the time, I was 23, but you get it. So, yeah, anyways, um, today is going to be an advice video. I haven't done an advice video in, like, the longest. So, um, let's do it. Um, I am 24 now, so we're going to do 24 things that I learned in life, whether it's done with friends, family, relationships, because I don't know if I have any younger viewers, like high school, so if I do, uh, most definitely y'all need to hear this. So, number one, um... I feel like the biggest life lesson I learned this year is to be humble. And what I mean by be humble is like, don't talk about nobody. Don't think you're better than anybody just because of what you have. Don't think, oh, that could never be me because it most definitely can always be you. Always. Don't ever, I'm too good for this. Uh -uh, that can never be me because it most definitely can. So be humble always, okay, y'all? Regardless of how much money you have, regardless of how good you're doing in life, because same reason why you talk about somebody who is a baby mama, you could be one. And literally, I had someone tell me that that they was a wife and they felt like they were a single mom. So don't think marriage can change, because it doesn't. If that person wants to make you a single mom, they're going to make you a single mom no matter what relationship you have with them. So that's number one advice. Number two, I learned so much about family this year as I get older. Cause when you're young, you don't know a lot. You don't know better. You don't know. But um, I learned so much. Keep family at a distance. They could preach on social media all day about loyalty and realness, but in real life, they're not about it. Same way with friendships, they're not about loyalty. If they can't see the cause and effect of why your behavior changed towards them or your attitude or anything, they can't see that and look at look at the root of the problem. Because nine times out of ten, if you don't do nothing to somebody and they do something to you, they're going to blame you because they are not, you know, mature enough 
to take accountability for their actions. So I've learned that a lot of people don't take accountability for their actions. Um, they will treat you however you will let them. And it's just time to cut ties with a lot of people. It's draining all the time to be that person that's always there for somebody. You want somebody there for you. So yeah, just, just cut ties with them. It's not worth it. Number three, find your happiness. I'm so serious. Find your happiness, okay? Because no matter what people say or talk about you, they're gonna talk regardless. So would you rather them talk about you in a bad way and you're happy or talk about you in a good way and you're depressed? Like, I'd rather be happy, okay? Your peace is everything. Don't argue with no one. Find your happiness. And I'm still learning this at 24. Like, I'm not perfect ever, nor do I claim to be. I'm, I mess up all the time. I make mistakes. I let my feelings get the best of me. Number four, control your emotions, okay? Control your emotions. Not everything, when somebody try to communicate to you, with you, it's not an argument. And nowadays, people love to text. I hate texting because the tone in text is just, it just gives me like, I wouldn't say petty, but it gives me like, you got an attitude. So I hate texting. I'd rather call on the phone and, you know what I'm saying? Texting these days is just give people the voice that they don't have in real life, okay? Like, seriously. So, um, I hate texting. I really do. Like, I'm old school. I didn't really grow up with phones. I didn't really grow up with social media. I'm seriously like that, that last bunch that didn't grow up with phones and stuff. For real. I didn't really legit have a phone until I was in high school. So, it, it's just really different. Um, number five, stay off of social media. <laughs> like, social media is really the devil. Like, I'm trying my hardest to get off social media. I be trying to take my social media breaks. Like, it's just, it's just not it, okay? Social media is not it. It's not because people take stuff either too serious or they don't take it serious enough. Okay, I think you say it will come back to you. So just saying, for starters, stay off of social media. Uh -uh. It's a no, it's a no brainer. Okay. Number six, I've learned that you really have to take time for yourself. Self care is the best care. Self love is the best love. You got to stop putting people before your own happiness because that's when you start getting drained of your energy. You start being miserable. you wondering why you can never find peace. That's why. Um, always put yourself first because you think people really care about you. They're not going to put you first. You have to put yourself first. They're going to. I've realized people in this world, whether it's family, friends, whoever, they are going to put themselves first. So you need to put yourself first, always. Um, did I say number six? Number seven, I think. I don't know. Number seven, I think. Um, this should have been number one, but we'll, we'll do it at number seven. Put God first. Yes, put God first. And I know you're like, huh? God is real. He's there. He answers your prayers. I swear, even if it takes a minute, he's always on time. And if you don't believe in God, that's on you. I'm not forcing religion on no one. But if you do believe in God, talk to him. And I can make a separate video on, you know, how to pray because I feel like I got really good at praying. And I can tell you guys, like, he answers all my prayers no matter how long it takes you just gotta have faith and that's the hardest thing people are like god's not real because you can't see him just because you can't see him doesn't mean he's not there just like we could feel energy but we can't see it you feel me so um yes put god first okay always wake up god sleep god like, he is going to turn your life around, okay? Even if you don't go to church, 
at least at least talk to God, okay? Because I don't go to church, but I do have a close relationship with God. And my relationship actually has been closer since I left the church. But um, I did have a dream that I was in the church, so I probably need to go back to church because, you know, we all need him. We all need God. But I've, I've had this platform for a minute for you guys, and we never really talked about God on here, and I should. So please always put God first. He will be there for you, I promise. Even though, like, it feels like, oh, he's not there. He's there. He just wants you to make sure that you believe in him. And I'm saying this because this is me. I Every time I pray, I'm like, God, why is this happening to me? Like, I don't, I, like, you want me to trust you? Like, this is annoying. I get mad. And he proves me wrong every time. So keep your faith, okay? Number eight, mental health. Mental health is important. Okay, I suffer from this. I know I'm with you. Black families don't support mental health enough. They be like, you're depressed. What you gotta be depressed about? I know, okay? Like literally, depression is something that people say it's, um, it's like, uh, like demons and like spirits that jump on you and make you feel these things. But like, I also feel like it's just not just always in your head. You know what I'm saying? And this is my opinion. You can agree to disagree. Don't be coming in my comments crazy, okay? Talk about, oh, it is, it is. Like, okay, but like, just cause it, just cause it is spirits doesn't mean that you still need, you still want help with them, okay? So, yeah, um, I've suffered from depression for a few years now, and I can tell you guys, I feel like every time that I pray, like, I feel like it's going. So when I don't pray, I feel like they try to jump back, you know, on me and try to bring down my spirits and my evil thoughts and all that so depression and anxiety is really severe and serious in black families and it's not talked about enough i feel like a lot of people should start coming out and expressing themselves but make sure you express yourself to someone who understands you not someone who tears you down but like oh okay like whatever i have that too okay so and because everyone is different. Everyone feels things differently. Everyone has different upbringings. Everyone, you know, look at things differently from different point of view. Don't ever let someone make you feel bad for having depression or, oh, what you're depressed about. You got it good. Like, no, just because like these celebrities, you see them all rich and you think their life is good, but they're really depressed. So when people say money, isn't happiness they mean it because you see all these celebrities with so much money and they're still alone they're still not happy they're still depressed so please be kind to people who have mental health issues and let them be known okay um number eight or is that number nine number eight nine whatever nine i guess um Work on growth. Work on your growth. I know you're like, huh? What you mean? Like your mindset, how you think. Um, if you're angry, learn how to control your anger in like a positive way. Like exercise, read, listen to music. Uh, music calms me down. Sometimes. It depends. It depends on my mood. Like if I'm a little irritated, I listen to music. I'm calm, um, take a walk outside, just do something to help. Um, some people go to drugs. I wouldn't recommend drugs to you guys. I know, I know y'all see me smoking stuff on here, but um, drugs, I wouldn't tell you guys to do like heavy drugs or anything. If you want to, you know, smoking a little weed or whatever. Okay, cool. If you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Just don't abuse it, okay? Don't be addicted to it. 
because I can't control what you guys do. So if you do do that, be careful. Okay. Um, also, just make sure like you don't abuse substances like that. Okay. I just want you guys to be safe. I don't want you guys to overdose. Um, I don't promote that. Okay. But anyways, number 10, I have to be alone. Yes. I know you're like, huh? Be alone? How am I? I'm always alone. No, like literally alone, alone. No family, just you and God. You really have to be alone a lot these days. Keep to yourself. And I'm not talking about relationships either. Like what I mean, you have to really be alone with yourself to know yourself. Because energies is real and i'm very empathic i could sense stuff before you even tell me and be like hey this 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 and i'll be like i knew you know it's really a gift okay but um yes energy you can sense energy but no you really have to be alone with yourself you really do you have to get to know yourself better you have to cut contact for a few months a few weeks however long you need to just to collect your thoughts get your money right everything you know what i'm saying spend some time with yourself and you'll be better off that way 10 always be yourself and what i mean by that is always be yourself like don't act funny in front of other people everybody else is taken be yourself you are unique in your own way you know what i'm saying and why would you want to be somebody else why would you you're different so anyways number 11 confidence okay you got to have confidence in everything you do. People love people with confidence. And I made a video about confidence and stuff. It's like a real old video. Y'all going to have to scroll. But um, it took me years to be confident. Because everybody's like, oh my gosh, like you're so confident. You're this, you're that. I mean, I've always been confident when I was younger. But we all have our moments where we develop insecurities we all have our moments where we're not feeling our best and that's okay we're human we have these emotions for a reason to be aware of them and to fix them so it's okay that you're insecure today but fake it till you make it keep looking in your mirror and tell yourself i'm beautiful or i'm handsome guy or girl it really doesn't matter people love confident confident people especially if you're trying to be like selling products and business and stuff you have to be confident in your products okay you have to be confident regardless okay why is this so bright i think i changed the settings sorry guys but yeah you have to be very confident okay um number is it 11, 12? I think 12. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm confusing myself. Put your own place. <laughs> I know this is random in a serious moment, but don't live with no one. Don't live with a boyfriend. Don't live with a friend. I had to learn the hard way. Not with a boyfriend, but with a friend, an ex friend. But um, it's not worth it. You're gonna have to live by their rules and regulations. Even if you pay, if even if you have them pay bills or chip in you still have to live by their rules so you might as well just get your own stuff and live by your rules okay um always make sure you make sure your self is straight yes people help and stuff but they can only do so much you know 13 don't ever let no one make you feel like you're not worth it know your self-worth know who you are don't ever let anybody treat you like crap. Speak up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Always speak up for yourself. Even if you're scared. 
Like I suffered with this for the longest. I used to be so quiet. I used to let people walk all over me. But like now I have a voice. And it's never, it's never, it's never too late, you know, to reevaluate yourself and change yourself. You can always um, be a different person. If you decide like that back then you was like very quiet and now you're very talkative and outgoing, like you can always change yourself. And I feel like that's why a lot of people be inspired by me because one thing about me, I always grow. You you think you know me, you really don't. You, you knew of me, you knew that old version of me. You don't know me now. So I will speak, I will speak up for myself. Yes, I used to be that quiet girl and I'm still quiet, I'm very observant, but I'm gonna speak my mind. And people hate blunt people. They hate people that speak their mind and tell them about themselves. Don't ever stop for nobody. Don't ever stop. Somebody did something to you, call them out on their shit. So serious. Call them out. And if they don't know what they did, leave them where they at. Leave them where they had you effed up at, okay? Because... We're not putting up with nothing less. It's 2023. This year is halfway over. And we're still putting up with the same people that don't, that, oh, that's a good one. Hold on. Number 15, reciprocation. Reciprocation. I don't even know if that's a real word, but reciprocate. If no one's reciprocating the same good energy that you are, cut them off. Cut them off. I'm so serious. That friend didn't invite you to the cookout, to their party, to whatever, but you see them inviting their other friends and family. Cut. Cut them off. Cut them off. I'm learning this slowly but surely. I know some people are like, I never trip about birthdays. What? The one year, the one year freaking day maybe one month if you want to celebrate your birthday the whole freaking month that it's about you and you saying your people's not showing up for you and you saying you don't care really really i know someone on my facebook well i don't know her but people on my facebook this lady, she had two boys, died on her birthday. Now imagine you didn't come to my birthday and I passed away, but you don't care about my birthday, right? You don't, you don't care if I don't make it to your birthday or if you don't make it to mine's. I could be here today going to fucking tomorrow. I could be here today going to fucking tomorrow. And you talking about you don't care? People don't give a fuck about you. I'm being real with y'all. They don't. Family, friends, and I don't give a fuck who I fit on this video. Because I've been quiet too fucking long. And I know people like, it's not worth the energy. But sometimes it is. Coming for me, it is worth the fucking energy. Because I, I, I didn't put no energy back then in speaking up or not saying shit. So I'm telling y'all, it's worth the fucking energy. Don't let anybody tell you different. Birthdays are very fucking important. The fuck? Seriously. That just triggered the fuck out of me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm waking on my triggers. Because be fucking for real. The one year you celebrate yourself and they don't show up to your shit, they don't give a fuck about you. Y'all like to preach on social media and shit. Y'all don't give a fuck in real life. I need motherfuckers who give a fuck in real life. Fuck the social media shit. Because when I see you in person, you're going to be on your best fucking behavior. Oh, hey. No, bitch. Fuck you. Hello. Let me redirect myself. Anyways. No, birthdays are very important. What number am I on? 15? I can't even fucking remember. That shit pissed me off. Let's do 16, 17, 18, 19. I just want to keep this ball rolling. I spend too much time on that number. Um, 
live your life. F other people's opinions. Live life. F their opinions. Stay in your lane. Mind your business. Drink your water. Just live life. Okay? Um, we're just going to jump to 20 because I forgot my place. I don't even care anymore. That just that just really triggered me. Sorry, y'all. But um, do what makes you happy always. I don't care what anyone says. Number twenty one, peace. Have your peace. I think I'm repeating myself. Sorry, guys. But I'm, those are the biggest things. Okay. Um. Twenty two. Don't jump in relationships too fast. And that's coming for me. Ugh, bugs. Um, don't jump too fast. Make sure you get to know your partner before you get serious about anything. Um, women, I'm talking to you guys too. Men and women. Especially the women. You don't want to end up being a single mom. I'm not saying you can't prevent that. You can try to prevent it, but... If a guy is going to do what a guy want to do, he's going to do what he want to do. And there's no convincing him. I know a lot of y'all be like, uh, abortion clinic. I just hate how y'all don't let the men take accountability. Y'all always woman, woman, woman. Woman should have known this. Woman should have known that. Guys pretend to be something they're not all the time. Okay? You don't know what you're getting yourself into until you're literally in that relationship with them. Trust me, I've been there, done that, and I see some of my friends in that same situation. Like I said in the beginning, you could be a whole wife, still feel like a single mom. You could be a wife, end up being a single mom. So don't be like, oh, well, if she was married, ain't no if she was married. That's just a piece of fucking paper. Because guess what? When you die, then what? Your partner probably going to find somebody else. Everything on this earth is temporary. Our friends, our kids, anybody can be gone at a blink of an eye. So what I'm trying to tell you guys, everything is temporary. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. I'm not going to keep saying it. Anyways, wish I was 23. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... have no regrets everything is a life lesson okay because having regrets you're holding on to grudges and why would you want to hold on to grudges okay it's not a good thing and it's just not it's not a good thing to have to hold grudges forgive but never forget Okay, number 24. We're done here, guys. Um, what should be my best advice to you guys since I'm 24? Elevate. Always work on yourself to get better. Okay, be the best you, you can be. Okay, I'm not saying it's easy. Things take time. Life is hard. So you don't need nobody around you making it harder, okay? Life is hard. People struggle in real life. Don't believe everything you see on social media, okay? We all struggle, and that's okay. There's beauty in the struggle. Motivate yourself. Have some self-discipline, okay? And if y'all ever need someone to talk to, I'm here, okay? I am here. I will not judge you. This is a no-judge-free zone. Um things happen okay and i know it's life you know what i'm saying life didn't come with instructions our rule book we have to live and we learn we have to make dumb mistakes to be smarter to be wiser so that we can give it on to the youth the people that are younger than us to help them out but um yeah um i hope this video helped you guys um, 
I'm there with you guys every step of the way, like y'all are with me. I love everyone who supports me. Y'all are seen, y'all are heard. And let's continue this journey. Halfway to 200 subscribers. Let's keep going. Share this video with your friends. And I love you guys. It's what? KJ Ma or Noma. Period. Bye, y'all.